Hello there everybody and welcome back to the YouTube channel of JJ Prime Reviews and in today's review I will be taking a look at the Transformers Siege, Micromasters, Flak and Top Shot. There you can see Top Shot, there we go. <laughs> so let's get down to the review table and see what the big deal is for these little figures. So let's get it on man, let's go! And here are Top Shot and Flag fully transformed into their vehicle mode. So the first thing we will take a look is Mr. Top Shot himself. So here is Top Shot uh, in his uh, kind of a kind of a like a I'm not sure whether it's a tank or it's a car or a military truck thing. I don't know what vehicle this is. I'm gonna say it's a military vehicle. That's it. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say about this. So, got some nice black right there from the front for the front windshield, so my camera will focus, there we go. And the side windows as well, painted in black. And got an Autobot symbol on the top. We got this beigey uh, paint on the turret itself, which is nice. And on the sides, got a uh, little bit of gunmetal gray paint right there, which is really, really nice. He does have some nice uh, rolling wheels, so he can definitely roll. And yeah, he definitely rolls very, very smoothly. And you can see there's a visible head, visible chest, visible arms, <laughs> visible thighs as well. So that's funny. That's pretty funny. Um, is there articulation in this real commode? Well, there is. The turret can actually rotate a full 360, and the cannon can actually pivot upwards. Yeah, which is pretty, pretty nice. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for his view commode. So let's get on to the other MicroMaster. And here is Flak, the other MicroMaster paired with Top Shot. And yeah, he transforms into his little green tank with big bazookas on top, which is pretty funny. And got some nice gray paint for the treads and the beigey paint right here on the sides as well. Got some little bit of black paint on the barrels of these, uh, these missile cannons or something, these bazooka, I don't, I don't know, but anyway, yeah, he has 10 barrels, which is really nice, um, so, yeah, and, uh, he has an Autobot symbol right there, so that's pretty cool, yeah, it's, it's a little tank, you know, it's very little, it's tiny, and he does have some nice rolling wheels, so he can definitely roll, he rolls very smoothly as well, so that's pretty cool, so now, let's bring in Top Shot, you can see, how they scale with one another and now let me zoom out a little bit so that we can bring in some other MicroMasters for the comparison. And here are Top Shot and Flag compared with the other MicroMasters that I reviewed so far. Got Power Train, High Jump, Big Daddy, Direct Hit, uh, Roller, roll, uh, <laughs> roll, uh, no, Ground, uh, no, 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 not Groundhog, Roller Force, uh, this is a uh, Bomb Shock. And this is, I forgot who this guy, this guy is, Groundhog, that's his name, Trip Up, Power Punch, uh, Growl, Ravage, Rumble, Rap Bat, Laser Beak, and the Astro Squad, Fuser, and Blast Master. And yeah, this is a nice looking group of uh, Autobot and MicroMasters and Decepticon MicroMasters. They look quite good together. I do quite like it, but let's compare Top Shot and Flak with Growl and Bomb Shock so I can so that I can tell you where the difference is between the molding, okay? So let's move on to that. Now, the reason why I'm comparing Top Shot and Flak with Growl and Bomb Shock is because um, I did mention in my review for Growl and Bomb Shock that these two guys are extensive, super extensive remolds of these two fellas. So you can see Bomb Shock and Top Shot, they have the same cannon, which is, <laughs> which is pretty funny which is crazy. So they have the same cannon, but other than that, everything else is remolded. I mean, look at that. Everything else is like totally, totally different. But what's funny is that um, Flak and Bomb Shock, they share the same thighs. <laughs> I mean, what's up with that? Wait, even though that Bomb Shock is a heavy, heavy remold of Top Shot, he shares thighs with Flak, which is Kind of weird and, and and confusing. So that's 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 weird. But for uh, for Growl, he's definitely a remold of a uh, of Flag because you can see the chest right here is definitely the same, and this post is definitely the same with this. But the thighs are different. These thighs, Growl's thighs, are basically shared from Top Shot. <laughs> what is happening here? 
I think it's being misassembled. I think. I think. I think uh, Growl was meant to have flax thighs, and Bomb Shock was meant to have Top Shot's thighs, and weird. That's really, really weird. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's kind of, kind of awkward. But anyway, so yeah, so that is basically it why. That's basically the reason why I wanted to show you the comparison between these Micro Masters because you know they're probably related. They're definitely related in terms of molding and um, in terms of shared parts. And yeah, so I will I will compare these guys in robot mode once once it, uh, once I transform these guys in robot mode. So we'll get down to that in a little bit. So but first, we are pretty much done with the alt mode comparisons. So yeah, we are uh, done with the uh, comparisons in alt mode. So now let us get down to the next step of the review. You know the transformation. Yes, we're going to the transformations right now. Um, we we're not transforming these guys into robot mode first. We're going to work on the weapon mode. So to get Flak transformed and ready for the weapon mode, you want to untap his legs right here and just bring, straighten them out like so. And you want to flip this section up like so. Bring it down and just flip out the peg. Flip out the peg, and that is pretty much it. Flax transformation. So now for top shot is you know, a little bit. It's simple, but there's a little bit a uh, little bit of work that you need to do. So you want to uh, you want to untap his arms and bring them down like so. Bring them down, and you want to rotate this section around like so, and just unfold his legs a little bit so that we can actually rotate the waist 180. Whoops! <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh! Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to pop off his legs. Anyway, so what you have to do is that you need to use first a little bit, rotate his waist 180 like so. And there are there are little slots right here for these uh these little little sta little, little tabs sticking out. So you want to bring them in and just tab them in. It doesn't really tab in too securely, but you know that's where it's supposed to go. You know, for uh, weapon mode, so, so yeah, and I think we yeah, pretty much done right there. We just need to rotate this back around and just put down the handle, and there you have that. So now, all we need to do is just plug them together, just plug them in together, and the shoulders for top shot will just, just go into these notches right there in the flak, which uh, can be pretty, pretty hard to do on camera, and there we go. There we go, it's tabbed in right, and there you have the weapon mode for Top Shot and Flag, and it's a, it's a decent weapon mode, it's it's not ugly looking, so yeah, definitely a, a better weapon mode than the other Micro Masters that I reviewed, um, yeah, um, yeah, really nicely done weapon mode, I, I think this is quite a cohesive gun I do quite like that like a big bazooka a big cannon so you can actually plug this into one of your deluxes your voyagers or leaders and let me zoom out a little bit so I can bring in Mr. Wheeljack and we raise the camera up a little bit so we can see the full effect there we go so you can take this big cannon right here and just plug in to Wheeljack's hand just like so and there we go so there you have that Right there, and yeah, that looks pretty cool. I do quite like this. I do, I do quite like this gun. This gun is actually really, really good. So now let's move on to the robot modes for Flak and Top Shot. Okay, so now that we have finished looking at the weapon mode, now let's transform Top Shot and Flak into their cute little robot mode. So you want to split them up like so. So now I'll transform Flak first, and it's pretty easy to split his legs, bring out his arms a little bit, and just flip down the peg, flip out his head, and that's it! That's that's it for Flak's transformation. So there you have Flak fully transformed into his robot mode, and he looks pretty good! I do quite dig him. I like the molding on this robot. I think it looks really, really good. So now let's take a look at his head sculpt. Yeah, really nicely done head sculpt. I love the orange for the visor, red for the face, beigey paint for the helmet, and I do quite like that, red for the uh, the belly side, so <laughs> the belly uh, section right here, so yeah, really nicely done. Um, I do like the uh, the wheels for his hands, you know, in, they did mold 
they did mold in some little fingers for flak and <laughs> that's pretty pretty cool I do quite like that and it's articulation uh, really really simple it's nothing all that great um, the head can actually move back so you can have him look up if you want to but it can't really rotate the shoulders can rotate a full 360 it can move in and out and that's pretty much it no way swivel the legs can move up that far it can move back oh that far really far <laughs> and he, he can't really do full splits but eh, somewhat there um, he does have a knee joint about 90 degrees of bend and that is pretty much it for the articulation for flag so now let us move on to Top Shot! And to transform Top Shot into his robot mode is pretty pretty simple. You want to unfold his legs, flip up the heel spurs, and there we go. So now we can take the waist one and rotate it 180, like so. And you want to split his legs and bring down his arms a little bit more and just bring down this handle, like so. And there you have Top Shot! fully transformed into his robot mode and it's a decent robot mode it's not that great but it's a decent one so let's take a quick look at his head sculpt and yeah, I feel like the blue paint on the head on the face it's a little bit sloppy in places I think they, they could have used a second coat of blue so but it's a nice head sculpt nicely molded and uh yeah and I, I do quite like the uh gunmetal gray paint on the chest and the belly it gives him that ab right there so that's pretty cool I do quite like that and uh, yeah um, he has some stick arms so <laughs> which, is, which is pretty pretty funny uh, his articulation the head can actually rotate but I'm not gonna do it because it's too hard to rotate the arms can rotate a full 360 you can use that hinge right here to move up the shoulder and there is a ball joint right there for the shoulder and can actually rotate around a little bit can move in and out which is pretty cool he does have a waist swivel which is nice the legs can move up that far can move back only that far and he can't really do the full splits he does have a knee joint due to transformation and that is pretty much it for his articulation it's not a great not he can't really be posable, you know, you can't really expect this much from the Micro Masters. They're, they're really tiny, so they don't have great articulation, but, you know, yeah, it's, 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 it's still a decent amount of articulation. So, I'm just going to bring in Flak right here so you can see how they scale with one another. And just for a quick size comparison, here they are with their mold mates, so you can see how they look together. And again! Uh, Growl shares the chest piece uh, with Flak, but he shares thighs with Top Shot, and this guy right here, Bomb Shot, he shares the uh, the cannon with uh, with Top Shot, and even shares the heel spurs as well. And um, but the thighs are being shared from Flak, which is pretty pretty uh, pretty weird and confusing at the same time. So now let us move on to the uh, the another set of comparisons where I will bring in. Oops, <laughs> I will bring in the other Micro Masters that I have reviewed so far. So I will be right back. And here are Flak and Top Shot with the rest of the Micro Masters that I have reviewed from Earthrise and Siege. Um, yeah, they're a really cool looking group of Micro Masters. Whether they're Autobot or Decepticon, they still look great together. And I love these Micro Masters. They're fun, they're simple, they're basic, but they're, you know, they're still enjoyable to mess with. So I only have three more sets to review and I am done with the Siege uh, reviews um, until I have to review Earthrise Thrust. But so, but yeah, so that is pretty much it for the robot mode comparisons. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Transformers, Siege, Micromasters, Top Shot, and Flak. And yeah, they're really, really cool figures in my opinion. Um, the gun mode definitely works. <laughs> because um, most of the Micro Master their gun modes, they don't look that great, they don't look too good, they look ugly. Um, but for, for these guys, their weapon mode is really, really good. It looks very, very cohesive as a gun, as a big bazooka or, or a cannon, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, I definitely love the weapon mode, it looks really good. And uh, 
But yeah, the robot modes, they look quite, quite decent, in my opinion. I think uh, out of the two robot modes, I think black is definitely my favorite. Uh, but for the vehicle mode, I think it has to go to Top Shot. His vehicle mode is really, really good, in my opinion. And uh, the paintwork, um, it could have had, you know, more paint here and there, but still the paintwork is nice and it's crisp, it's clean. So, yeah, um... Yeah, this set is really, really nice. Really, it's a really nice set. So overall, this set definitely gets a um, an eight out of ten. So why do why did I give them an eight out of ten? Except for nine out of ten. Well, I'm not gonna give them a nine out of ten because uh, the articulation is not that great. Um, the paintwork is not that great either, and uh, the robot mode for Top Shot just does not look that good. But it's still quite decent. I still, uh, I still adore his little robot mode, but some things about his robot mode really, they they do bug me. <laughs> I don't like his uh, tall shoulders and uh, the stick arms. So, eh, what do you got to do? You can't really expect that much from these little micro masters. So, yeah, um, yeah, eight out of ten, still a decent set for what it is. Still a fun set to mess with. And I think that's pretty much it for today's video review. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are completely new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down below. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell icon down below as well so that you'll know when my new videos are up and ready. And you can always check out my Siege Reviews playlist for any videos you may have missed. I'll post a link to that playlist in the description down below as well. And if you would like to have some MicroMasters of your own, you can always check out BigFatToyStore.com for any availability for these little guys. I'll post a link to their website in the description down below. And I think that's pretty much it for me to say. So they have the Transformer Siege, MicroMasters, Top Shot, and Flak. And this is JJ Prime signing off. Peace out.